Hi boys and girls, I am so excited to be reading to you again today. Today we are going to read a book called The Girl with a Mind for Math, the story of Ray Montague. And it is written by Julia Finley Muska and illustrated by Daniel Reilly. So what do we think this book is going to be about based off of its title and the front cover? If you said that you think it's going to be about a girl who really likes math, then I think you're right. If you said that it's going to be about a girl who likes cars, then I'm not too sure. We'll have to jump in and see what it's really about. If there's something you want, but it seems out of reach, here's a story for you. A great truth it will teach. When you focus your mind, you'll succeed through and through, like one bold engineer by the name Montague reach teach hmm those rhyme don't they and what sounds in them rhyme each you're right in a state we call arkansas one winter day a baby was welcomed a girl they call ray she was bright as a star super smart from the start she was headstrong this child and not faint of heart day ray start heart those rhyme too. Yes, this girl had potential. Her granddad was proud. He told her, work hard, you'll stand out from the crowd. Then something she cherished when Ray was just seven. He took her to see her first ship. It was heaven. Proud, crowd, seven, heaven. Those rhyme. A real submarine, her eyes open wide. Who made it, she asked as they followed the guide. Engineers, said the man, giving Ray's head a pat. But my dear, you don't need to know all about that. At the time the man's insult went over her head, no, you can't, were the words he had meant but not said. Engineering, thought Ray, and her life's dream began. Except most people laughed when she told them her plan. Stay strong, said her mom. Use your brains, you'll be fine. There will always be people who pay you no mind. Just because you're a girl and because you are black, don't let them or the state of your school hold you back. See, schools in those days were what's called segregated. The black and white students were kept separated. That's wrong, you exclaim. It was dismal, no fooling. And worst of all, white kids received better schooling. Segregated, when have we heard about segregation? Yes, during our Black History Month. And who were people who helped fight for ending segregation? We had Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, Jackie Robinson, Harriet Tubman. We talked about all of those people during our Black History Month and they were fighting to end segregation. So Ray was actually born and alive during that time of trying to fight for segregation and trying to be treated as one with white people. But Ray studied hard, she had grit, taught herself. She was gifted in math and she read books by the shelf. When the time came for college, she knew what to choose. She learned to build boats, but she got some bad news. Engineering's not taught to black students, they said. Her heart hit the floor, I'll take business instead. She learned what she could and she learned the rest later. The rules were unjust, but that school wouldn't break her. Ray finished with honors. Oh boy, what a smarty. She said her farewell, farewells, there was no time to party. I'm off to a place filled with history's greats, the capital city of all 50 states. Now finding a job, it turned out that took time. She looked and she looked, Ray was not one to whine. Then it must have been fate. At least that's what it seems. She was hired to type where they built submarines. She went to the capital of all 50 states. Do you know what the capital of all 50 states are? If you said Washington, D.C., then you are right. The Navy, that's right. Oh, but hold all your cheers. Ship designing was only for trained engineers. And remember, she wasn't, she wasn't able to get her degree in engineering, so she's not considered a trained engineer. So she watched as they worked, and she learned every task even studied computers by night in a class. Then her big break arrived. 
The whole staff got the flu. Ray did all her work and the engineers too. Her boss was in shock. How? He exploded. From memory, said Ray, and with that got promoted. Life should have been swell, yet that wasn't the case. Her boss treated her poorly because of her race. Many people like him tried to make her feel small. Ray just held her head high and she outworked them all. So even though she got promoted because they realized that she was a really great engineer, they still treated her bad just because of her color, the color of her skin. What next? From the White House, there came a command. The president ordered a ship, make it grand. And quickly, he added, well, that didn't fly. All those plans would take engineers months to supply. Here's the thing about that. When designing a boat, there are thousands of measurements one needs to know. All those numbers take math and that takes some time. Ah, but Ray had been working on something sublime. She took a deep breath. I can solve this, she said. I've come up with a system to do it instead. It'll draw the plans faster, she told them. Don't fret. I'll design the first ship by computer, no sweat. How long do you think that might take? What's your guess? Would it take a, her a month, maybe weeks for success? Well, it took calculations and tons of caffeines. But Ray finished in hours, just over 18. So for all the other engineers who were trained and actually went to school for engineering, it would take them months to come up with this blueprint and this design for the ship that the president was asking for. But Ray, who wasn't able to take engineering classes or my, uh, major in engineering, it took her only 18 hours. That is a huge ac accomplishment, especially for someone who wasn't even able to take those classes and to actually get the correct training that she needed. Her program, it worked. All the blueprints were done. The ship was constructed. The engineers stunned. You did it, they cheered, and her boss had to say that her quick mind for math had in fact saved the day. The mm. end? No, not quite. When Ray's ship was unveiled, only white men could go, and Ray's invite, not mailed. Say what? You heard right. No invite, abhorrible. In fact, some might say it was downright deplorable. So she did all that work, came up with the blueprints for the ship in 18 hours, and then she didn't even get to go. Is that fair? Not at all. Yet, Ray kept her cool, gave her best every day, and in time, all her skills were applauded. Hooray! People learned of her work. Who's this Ray, they demand? When they met her, they stared. They expected a man. Yes, that happened a lot. Many could not believe that a woman of color did all she'd achieved. Some even thought Ray was a maid. Sad but true. When they ordered a drink, she'd say, bring me one too. All her humor and wit served her well through the years as she battled the hard times with laughs and not tears. And that boss in the Navy who'd been so unkind made Ray the first woman to lead ship design. More honors would follow, her fame picked up steam, and finally, at last, she accomplished her dream. That title she'd worked for, an engineer, score! Now the world knows her feats just hidden no more. And the plaque says, Ray Montague, en engineer. Oh, the lesson to all is don't ever give in. Take a chance, rock the boat. If it sinks, you can swim. When a storm comes your way, hold your course and don't stress. Never quit and like Ray, propel straight to success. And she wrote a note and it says, Dear reader, if you have a dream like I did, study hard and stay focused. Always remember that just because someone says you can't, that doesn't have to stop you. You might have to go in a different direction and it might take you a little longer, but you can achieve your dreams. Ray Montague. So, and then in the back, we have a picture of a timeline, and it's about her life. So, you can see at the beginning, she was born on January 21st, 1935, in Little Rock, Arkansas. And then, throughout the years, you can see all of her accomplishments. And she did pass away on October 10th, 
2018 in Little Rock, Arkansas, surrounded by her family. So this book really teaches you about sometimes you will have people who are going to try to hold you back or who think that you might not be able to succeed and they're going to tell you that you can't do something. However, if you put your mind to it and you really believe that you can, you will definitely be able to succeed whatever you think that you can do. So I was so happy that I'm able to read to you today and I want you to tune in for another book next week. Go outside, enjoy this beautiful weather, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!